What's up everyone, it's Brace from LaneChain and I'm super excited to show you all the Agent Chat UI today. This is a React and Beat application we've built to allow anyone to connect to their LangGraph or any LangGraph deployment, whether it be a local or production uh, deployed graph. And as long as it has a messages key, you can interact with it with this UI uh, through a chat-like interface. It also supports rendering tool calls and human in the loop. So, I will show off how to connect to a local deployment right now. Uh, first, I'll navigate to my terminal, and I'll run pnpm uh, agent to start my local agent. That's then running at HTTP localhost 2024, and I'll set the graph ID to chat. I then hit continue, and this is going to be pointing to a simple chat uh, agent, which just sends a simple LM called OpenAI. So I can say something like, why is the sky blue? And now I hit send, and we can see it gives me back a simple text response. Since we're using LangGraph, we'll get access to all of the nice time traveling, forking, and so on features. So I can hit the refresh button, and this is going to rerun the graph from this point in the state, and it's going to give me a new result. I can then go back and forth between these two uh, forks. I can also edit this initial, me initial message and say something like, hi, and it's going to uh, edit that point in the state, send a new message, and I can once again go back and forth between any of these forks at any point in time. I can also inspect all of the past chats and create new chats. Now, when I'm done with this, I can simply clear the query params and I can set it to a new graph. So I'm going to set it to email agent. And this is a simple implementation I made for what you would use uh, to build an actual email assistant. And it uses human in the loop. Uh, we use a standard human interrupt schema, which is exported from the LangGraph library. And it's a way to call the interrupt function, which pauses your graph, passing in this specific schema. And then when the agent chat UI uh, detects you have interrupted your graph with that schema, it's going to render a uh, UI that allows users to edit, inspect, and respond to your graph uh, based on that interrupt. So I can say something like, write me an email to brace at langchain.dev about how much I love the agent chat UI. We can see that it calls the write email tool uh, generating these fields for the subject, body, and to. And then it calls the interrupt function with that specific schema, and the agent chat was able to detect that the uh, human interrupt schema was uh, passed, and it's rendering this nice UI for us to interact with this interrupt. So we can see here I'm allowing for editing, accepting, responding, and ignoring this interrupt item. I can also inspect the state, right, and expand this to see the current value of the state of my thread. I can look at the description if this was defined, in my case it was, where I can see the uh, subject, to and body, and so on. And now I can go and let's say I want to respond to this, right? It's your name, and I want it to say, my name's Mark, update the sign off. I then hit submit, and it's going to send a type response to the interrupt, which is then going to rewrite my email, now passing in Mark as the sign off, and interrupt again so I can approve it, um, or ask it to make more changes. I like what it, what it shows, it has mark right there, so I hit accept, and it's going to then send the type accept to interrupt. So that is how you would interact with the agent chat site using just plain chat, uh, tool calls, and tool results, as well as human in the loop. Now let's talk about the different ways you can access this site. The first is of course agentchat.versell.app, which is the deployed site. You can connect to any graph, local or deployed. Uh, but we also have open sourced this code, so you can clone it at the agent chat UI GitHub repo. And then the third way is via NPX create agent chat app. So I'm going to show you now how you can do this locally. And that's just going to bring in all the code, uh, which renders this web app locally to your machines so that you can uh, edit it make modifications or just run the app locally. So I'm in my terminal and I'm going to run NPX create agent chat app, hit enter. It's going to ask me if I want to install it. I'm going to say yes. Once it's installed, it's then going to prompt me with what I want the name to be. I'll just accept the default of agent chat app, hit submit, and then it clones this entire repo locally. I'll run pnpm install to install the dependencies. And while this is running, we can open it up in my IDE, and we can see it has successfully pulled in all the different code, uh, components, and the rest of the code that I need to render this and run this app locally. So the installation is done, and now I can run pnpm dev, which is going to run this app locally. I then open it up in my browser, and after a second, for the first load is always going to take a second, it's going to load the exact same app we saw there. Now this is running, I'm going to show you how you can connect to a, a deployed graph, not a local one. 
So I'm going to first navigate to uh, one of the graphs I've deployed in Langsmith. So I have this React Agent Tool Server deployment. I'm going to copy it and paste it into my deployment URL. The graph ID is agent, and I have my Langsmith API key set because it's a production deployment. I then hit continue, and I can say a message like, uh, what's the weather like in New York? I hit send. We can see it's going to say it's going to help me check the weather. It's then going to call the get weather function with city of New York, and it's going to call the get weather function and get the actual weather. Uh, this is the tool result. This is the tool call. We can see it summarizes that down here. So that is how you connect to a deployment URL, run it locally, use the npx create agent chat app command, uh, use the deployed site at agentchat.brasel.app. And of course, all of the links to everything I uh, mentioned in this video will be in the description. I hope you all enjoy it, and I'll see you in the next one.